What's up everybody? It is Ro. Welcome back. You are at Ask Ro number 10. Very excited about this. Thank you for your presence and I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Today we're going to make this more of a how-to vlog day because uh, I've gotten a few health questions it looks like and um, I wanted to show you guys how to do those tongue twisters I mentioned back, you know, a few vlogs ago. So here we go. My first person is Timothy Williams Jr. What's up, Timothy? He says, I love you and all you inspire. You mentioned you like almonds, so I was wondering what is your favorite health food? On the flip side, what is your favorite not so healthy food? Well, first off, I'm going to tell you, I don't really have many favorites. I like a lot of things for a lot of different reasons. But since I'm going to choose something today, I will say that probably my most um, favorite health food thing to do as far as food is concerned is to juice. Uh, juicing is amazing for blood building, cleansing the body. Um, you can you can fast, you can juice feast is what they call it, but if you do nothing but juice, I call it juice fasting. Excellent way to just give the body a, a, an abundance of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, energy, all those wonderful things. Cleanse the skin. I can't say enough wonderful things about juicing. So that's one of my favorite. Looks like somebody's trying to call me. And um, one of my not so healthy yet favorite foods, I would say is probably ice cream drumsticks. I think Good Humor makes those. I don't remember who I, I can't think of who I really love their brand, but ice cream drumsticks every once in a while, I'll indulge. <laughs> so thank you for your question, Timothy. And uh, be sure to holler at your girl whenever you feel it. So I have another question from Anbar Mahar. Hey girl, I just discovered your video vlogs and I love them. I totally admire you for putting these together. Thank you, Anbar. Uh, I had a follow-up question about one of the things you mentioned in your vlog number 8 part 2. You suggested to a guy to start your day with very good breathing exercises that help your immune system and such. I love learning about this stuff, but never heard of breathing exercises that help your immune system. So I was wondering if you could elaborate on that and talk about where you learned about those exercises or what those exercises are. You got it. Wonderful question. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, uh, Tony Robbins. Uh, I love him. I recommend all of the things that Tony does because I see definite results from practicing uh, what he says to do. Um, this is something that I learned from him and it is suggested to do these in the morning um, because you want to start your day off great, you know, with energy, stimulate the immune system and get the brain activity going. So it's four inhales with your mouth closed and then it's four exhales with your mouth opened and you would do this in rhythm with your walking. Okay, and you can also touch your fingertips. You see that? These uh, are acupressure points, and they also stimulate brain activity and help with the uh, immune system stimulation. Okay, so everything is in rhythm with it, uh, with one another, and this is pretty much what it looks like. You get it. So I do that for about five minutes. If you want to do it for longer, it's even better. I mean, you can't lose. You feel wonderful and you will see some results from that, especially if you start making that a habit. Thank you for your question. Okay, and then there's one more how-to that I wanted to address. Um, a few vlogs ago, I mentioned doing tongue twisters because they help you with your enunciation and to articulate much better. So if there's anybody looking for um, more confidence in being able to express yourself around people um, with public speaking, what have you, I got this wonderful, wonderful technique from Gary Spatz, who was our acting coach when we were kids on the Mickey Mouse Club. Uh, we used to do this before our classes. We had um, rehearsals for our skits and stuff like that. And it was also very helpful for us to do in interviews. So it's about 10 of them. I haven't counted them in years, but I still do this stuff so you know how good it is. Um, you want to over-pronunciate. 
okay? Uh, everything that you say, because you're purposefully exercising your mouth and your tongue, okay? So, here we go. Amos Ames, the amiable aeronaut, aided in an aerial enterprise at the age of 88. Some shun sunshine. Do you shun sunshine? Fine white wine vinegar with veal. Bring a bit of buttered brown bran bread. Geese cackle cattle low, crows ca, cocks crow. Eight gray geese in a green field grazing. Six thick thistle sticks. Lucy likes light literature. Bring a bit of buttered brown bran bread. Peter Pringle, the prickly prangly pear picker, picked three pecks of prickly prangly pear trees. Blah, 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 blah. Peter Pringle, the prickly prangly pear picker, picked three pecks of prickly prangly pears off the prickly prangly pear trees on the pleasant prairies. woo <laughs> So, uh, you know, pick them up as you go along and just start adding each one to your arsenal because I know it may be a bit much for you to pick up, of course, on one try. But just keep adding each one to your arsenal and eventually you'll have this wonderful workout for your mouth and you'll find that your words and everything else just kind of flows after that, you know. So thank you, Gary Spatz. Big shout out to him. And if anybody has any kids that, that, that they would like to put in the entertainment business, he is a wonderful acting coach and I highly recommend him good people. So, um, oh, and then one more question I saw in my box. Sergio Lewis, which one did you like? Hey, Ro, I just wanted to ask you, which lineup of En Vogue did you like? I am a diehard original En Vogue kind of guy, but it was something about you, Maxine, and Terry as a trio that I just love. People on YouTube always comment on the video where you sung lead to Hold On. We all agree that you sung it smoother than the original track. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoy uh, my rendition. Thank you for sharing that. I, you know, like I was saying earlier, I don't really have a favorite. Um, I liked all of the lineups with me for different reasons. Uh, I think that each lady kind of is a great compliment uh, of me and for me. So I enjoyed them all. <laughs> So that's my answer. I enjoyed them all. But thank you so much for your feedback. And I believe that's it, you guys. Uh, we didn't take too long today. We're in double digits. I'm very proud of that. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys for Ask Grow Vlog number 11 next week. Spread the word. Peace.